Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We are going to be watching The Foster Season 1, Episode 13. This is called Things Unsaid. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, or you guys would like to have early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions that are up on my Patreon, the links are down below. Just going to let you guys know I'm feeling kind of nauseous right now. So, um, I'm going to be eating, so I will try my best to cut all the noises out for you guys. So, I hope you guys don't mind. Let's go ahead and get into this episode. Just because there are no locks on the doors or bars on the windows, that doesn't mean you can run out of the house whenever you please just to go see your boyfriend. It's not me. Well, whoever he is, zero contact. I'm sorry. Is that a question? No, I won't again. <laughs> Good. And there'll be no more accidents with Cole or with anyone else. I have really had it, Callie. We have the right to see each other. No, you don't have the right to interfere with her probation. Well, you can't stop us. Actually, we can. Come on, Brandon, follow the rules. That's a restraining order, Brandon. If you go within 100 feet of Callie again, you'll be arrested. I'm just worried about Callie. I mean, how do we know that she's not sitting there thinking that Brandon is the only one who hasn't given up on her? It's... It's just hard. That's why it's called tough love. Kelly, what are you doing? When did she sneak that in? First wrestling, now my beach. Oh, this is your beach? I'm here every morning. First time I've seen you. Well, running's just part of this new thing that I'm doing. I just got off my ADHD meds. Okay? Well, that's cool. You know. Doing it on your own. Wrestling is just part of it. It's supposed to help me focus. How's it going? It's been pretty good so far. Could you maybe run lines with me? Um, sure. Hey, why? I just don't know if I'm gonna be around then. Is all. Are you gonna eat that? No, here. Why do you think he's not gonna be around? You're a tech wizard. You can't just make it work. Get right on top of that, Rose. Okay, you did not just say that. You know that movie? Yeah, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Uh, it's a classic. I watched that a lot when I was growing up. Movies was I still like it. Dangerous. You knew I liked Chase. What? Running lines. Everybody knows that's code for hooking up. It is? What? Chase asked me. I wasn't going after him. I was just doing my job alone thanks to you. Oh, so forget me, right? Just like when I covered for your ass when you were dealing drugs. To make a sexual innuendo is a joke. Hallie. Gonna get kicked out. Miss, uh, would you like to see my bonsai tree? Uh oh, here it Where's comes. Callie? Becca, did you see Callie? I don't know. Okay, go on. I will meet you there. Sorry. She looks really worried. You should go. Right? Someone's gonna know you should go. Wait, um... How's Jude? He's okay. He hates me, doesn't he? No. He doesn't hate you. He misses you. Go. Now! Get out of here! Who do you want to get bounced back to Juvie? Where have you been? Got lost looking for the bathrooms. You know you're not supposed to separate from the group. Yeah, no, I know. It's, it's my fault. Um, I just didn't want to interrupt the tour. Well, it's nice of her to stick up for her. Allie, stop screwing up, girl. Let me guess. She's going to say, I can't run lines with you, and Kelsey's going to jump in. It's like, I'll do it. I'm sort of swamped, so I can't run lines with you after school. But I'm free. I'd love to run lines with you. Cool. The line for the boys' bathroom. I know. I'm sorry, but you can't sneak in because it's shorter. It's confusing to the younger student. You're the only one confused here. Why She's can't you understand that using the other bathroom is confusing for me? That's enough. Don't put your hands hey, on me. No. Stay in your lane, freak. What did you call me? Hey. Back off. Don't touch her. Hey, stop. Get her. Hey, walk away, girl. You walk away. Yeah, and once you're in the system, lost cause. And the older you get them, the harder it is to straighten them out. I don't know about that. All these kids really want to know is that somebody loves them. Yeah. Is, nobody does. You need to let Callie know you guys care. We, continue this we said we weren't going to let a boy come between us. We aren't. I thought that meant that neither of us was going to go after Chase. 
Sorry, what do you want me to do? Nothing, it's fine. Uh, Kelsey, where did you think you were going? Play practice. Uh, you got your third tardy this period. You're with me. Detention. Kelsey, I can't make it, okay? She's gonna do it instead. You got this! Come on! Go, 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 Walter. Go for it! Ah, that guy is so much bigger than him. Give him, give him an effort. Nice job. Huh? He's way out of your weight class. You held your own. Keep it up. Hey, um, where's Kelsey? Uh, yeah, turns out she couldn't make it after all. I still have a few days to finish the costumes, so, I mean, if you're still interested. It's organic jerk, no dyes. I'm giving you props. You held your own. Yeah, for about three seconds. You gotta learn to accept praise. She's Stop. cute, I like her. It's time for your tunnel of love. It's talking to you. Me? It's just an initiation thing. That sounds kinky and sort of scary. <laughs> Don't be a wuss. Oh, it's there. What so the hell? Don't. What the hell happened to my son? What are you talking about? This. Anchor Beach has zero tolerance for, for hazing or whatever the circle of punching is. Tunnel of love. Oh, come on, it's just a rite of passage for new team members. We're not turning a blind eye, so this rite of passage, it ends now. Or your job does. Yes, ma'am. Oh, great. They're gonna kiss, and Kelsey's gonna come in, and she's gonna see it. I have a feeling like Kelsey's gonna get, like, so mad that she's gonna, like, blurt out that she was the dealer. Oh, it's not Kelsey, it's this guy. Hope he ain't gonna do something crazy. Oh, and Kelsey. I think Cole makes things hard on herself. What's that supposed to mean? I think you're an angry person. And I think the only thing that's going to change when you go through your little transition is that you're going to be an angry person with a penis. <laughs> At least I know who I am. Girl, please. Don't call me girl. Everybody. I think Cole's right. What? Yeah, you just want him to do what's easy for you. you know, but sometimes what's right isn't easy. You know, you say that you think that Cole makes things hard on himself, but what you actually mean is that he just makes things hard on you. So maybe you should just stop thinking about yourself all the time and cut Cole a little slack. I suppose there's any chance I could just say hi to her. Steph? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Callie actually doesn't have her privileges, but even if she did, you can't just show up unannounced. I just don't want her to think that, that we don't care. Yeah, I, I don't think she thinks that. And if you don't mind a little advice, let her come to you. Jude, I can't promise you that there won't be any surprises. This life is unpredictable. But you can't live your life in fear of what might happen. The one thing that I know for sure is that you are safe in this house. And we won't pull the rug out from under you. Whatever it is. Oh God, it's Kelsey. She's saying something she bad. Doing some shopping for the play. She stole something. I have to come clean. Mariana sold them to me. Such a bitch. Oh God, she's such a bitch. That one always be pontificating. I know big words. <laughs> God, I'm gonna be out of here in two weeks. The independent living program. Do you have to be like 18? Or emancipated? Nope. Gotta be 16. No. You gotta do good here first. And you won't get in without, you know, recommendations from Rita and your PO. My diploma, no GED. I'm gonna take some parenting classes and get my baby girl back. You have a kid? Yeah. She's two. In foster care like I was. But I ain't gonna be like my mama. I'm gonna get her back. It's a nice hat. Is that the one you stole? I, I didn't steal it, I swear. It, it was Kelsey. <laughs> if you knew it was stolen, why didn't you return it? Because the boy liked because it. Chase really liked it. Because you are suspended. Kelsey told Principal Sanchez about everything, including the pills. You get caught with it, no more sneaking out to see your boyfriend. Sure as hell no ILP. 
Smart. I'm gonna toss this. It's for your own good. Sometimes what's right isn't easy. I'm wondering if Cole is gonna use that phone and like text him back something mean. Okay guys, so that was the end of episode 13 of season 1 of The Fosters, and um, Callie in this one really pushing her limits in this house by sneaking off and seeing Brandon and and everything, and um, I'm not sure, I guess it was the parents, I guess it was Lena, Steph, and Mike who issued the restraining order? on Brandon of not going to see Callie. At least that's what I took away from that. Um, and Brandon didn't take it well, and obviously he ignored it because he kept sneaking off to see her, texting her, all that stuff. Um, there was an incident when the girls went on a trip with Cole wanting to use the men's bathroom instead of the women's bathroom, and there was a fight. The girls were telling Cole to stop and to just come to the girls' bathroom, and the guys who were in the boys' bathroom line um, calling him a freak, and then getting into an altercation with uh, the girls. Like, like the girls attacked him because he attacked Cole. And, yeah, so there was fight, and they had to leave early. And so the girls got mad at Cole because of that. And Callie stuck up for him um, against the girls. And I thought that was really nice, and I thought he was going to loosen up you know, with Callie, like, be nicer, but I'm not quite sure what his plan is here with the phone. Um, he took it, said he was going to dispose of it, but I knew he was going to keep it. <laughs> I didn't know what for, but Brandon texted, and he texted back with this evil smirk, it seemed like, that they're over, and it doesn't want to see him again. Which, of course, Brandon thinks is from Callie, but it's not. So, I don't know what the plan is there. I don't know if he's doing it to be mean, or if he has some kind of motive of this is going to help Callie in some way. I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's being mean. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Lena wanted to see Callie and let Callie know that, you know, they love her and, and everything. And Steph was all like, you know, this is tough love, you know, all that stuff. And then it was Steph who ended up going to the home and tried to see Callie because she wanted to let her know that they care about her and, and all that. And she wasn't able to see Callie. Um, the leader of the home told her no, and that maybe she'll see him on the next, uh, visiting day or I don't know what they call it so uh, so I thought that was kind of funny that Steph was the one that tried to go do it instead of Lena and Steph was trying to play played off like you know this is what's best for Callie you know she'll be fine oh Kelsey screwed over Mariana I knew they were gonna fight um over this guy What's his name? Is it Cole? Is it Cole? Is his name Cole? Um, Mariana likes him, and she was going to do lines with them, but then Kelsey got all mad at her, so she told Cole she couldn't do lines with him because she was trying to keep her friendship with Kelsey, and what did Kelsey do? She said, oh, I'll, I'm available, I'll do it. But then she got detention, and... Uh, Mariana ended up doing the lines with him, and they started kissing, and Zach and Kelsey's both saw the kissing. And I'm not sure if Zach is going to have anything to say about it. I think he likes her, but she's obviously oblivious to that fact. And um, anyway, Kelsey, I knew she was going to go, and she was going to do something, and so she did. First, she, she went to the principal, and first she told him that uh Mariana is the one who stole the hat when Kelsey is the one who stole the hat and um then outed Mariana as being the one who sold drugs and so she got uh Mariana got suspended from school 
So I hope that that friendship is over. I mean, I believe I said in like the first episode or the second episode that I didn't like Kelsey. And I still don't like her. And uh, she needs to take responsibility for her, her own thing. It's like, she's the one that stole. Yeah, Mariana did the, the, the pill thing. That was all on Mariana. But stealing was not. And she shouldn't have to pay for that. Even though she could have turned it back in. Yes, very true. But the guy liked it. So she didn't want, you know. I get it, but... She's not the one who initially stole it, so she's not the one who should have had to return it anyway. So, I don't know how that's all going to work out. But, um, I think there's something weird going on with Lena. Um, when it comes to stuff, she first seemed really worried when she heard about the shooting, and then when Steph called her back, she didn't seem relieved or anything she seems upset and I don't know why and then she was talking to to her in bed and like how her day was and stuff she just seemed upset no matter what Steph said and I don't understand why Lena is upset and what's going on there so hopefully that will um, get all straightened out soon but yeah so but other than that, I think I enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Uh, I know I didn't say a whole lot, but this, this wasn't really much to say, I don't think. Um, but if you guys liked this reaction, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like to see me react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.